Hey guys, uh, I want to talk today about my sexuality, uh, more specifically my sexual orientation. And uh, I was thinking about this because it's part of my reasons for starting recovery from addiction. But I realized that this video is uh, something that a whole lot more people will be interested in and really kind of something I don't want to bury in a, in a larger context. So I just want to just want to talk about it. Um, I want to start with saying that I've always thought it was really ridiculous that um, the gay community has this kind of political dogma that uh, it's not a choice to be gay. I've always thought it was very um, hypocritical because if there's nothing wrong with being gay, then who cares really if it's a choice or if it's if you're born that way or you know some combination. Um, why, why does it matter what causes it if there's nothing wrong with it? And I've always thought that was really inconsistent and really annoying. And um, in my own in, in my own case, um, I have always been aware that uh, on some very meaningful level, it's been a choice. Um, when I came out, when I was uh, 17, um, I'd kind of been wrestling with it um, internally and, and hiding it and just just really feeling like I was in a crucible of you know figuring out. Um, my, what is my sexuality and can I change it? And, um, is this real, what, what I'm feeling or is this kind of, uh, manipulation from the stuff that I'm exposing myself to like internet porn. And, um, so I, what happened essentially was, um, I was going through all this really consciously, desperately trying to not be gay. Um, but not really having any strong indication otherwise. Um, and I, I just gave up. I just, I just stopped. I, I was exhausted. I mean, I, I was just tired of my soul, um, after four or five years of that. And I never got to a point where I, you know, could conclude or prove, um, I'm on this path and this, this, this means that I'm going to be gay or I am gay, or um, there's no way that I could not still finesse myself into heterosexuality or bisexuality. There was never any sort of conclusion like that. It was just, um, I am so tired. I need to get out of this, this kind of prison that I'm in. Um, I'm gay. <laughs> you know, choosing to be gay to stop this process, this torture. And then... Um, and then I sat on that for a year, slightly less than a year before I came out. Um, but but there was uh, a very clear choice to stop fighting. Um, it didn't seem like accepting the truth necessarily. It just seemed like like a, like a sort of choice to stop fighting. Um, and I don't mean to say that it was an invalid or wrong choice. I don't think it was at all. I think that's absolutely what I needed and I don't regret it. And, um, I've had a, uh, I mean, I've had a really fraught relationship with sexuality itself. Uh, not so much with homosexuality though. I mean, I've been very, uh, very satisfied, I guess, with my relationships and, and such. Um, I haven't really looked back in any way of, of wishing it had been different. Um, but it definitely was a choice. Um, and you know, I, I don't know whether it was, you could argue and, and you will, and, and I don't, that's fine. I don't really care. Like you'll argue whether, you know, well, could you re realistically have chosen the opposite? Uh, was this kind of the only choice available? And, um, and I don't really want to en engage in that. Um, I, I do think there were. Um, apart from my own inclinations, there were psychological forces at work that were sort of bending me that way. And, um, so I, I'm not, I'm not arguing that it wasn't something I was born into as well. I'm just saying it was a choice. Um, so, but, um, you know, I, I never really, I didn't dwell on it because the whole point of that choice is to not dwell on it. But um, the truth is that it's never really been a, uh, a um, 
satisfactory kind of way to come to something that supposedly is a significant part of my identity. Um, not really discovering it, um, not really, you know, growing into it naturally, not really finding it, but just um, fighting with it for four years and then saying, okay, I give in, you know, it's not really, um, it's not really satisfactory. And then um, just a couple weeks ago, um, I, I was doing some deep kind of psychic investigation and sort of integrating a bunch of truths that I know. And I had a realization about um, a circumstance or, I don't know, a condition uh, that was present at my birth that um, seems to have been providing sort of a, uh, a nudge or a push toward the direction of being gay. Um, and I don't want to go into any, any detail about that. Um, but, but I, I do want to say that that is not satisfactory either <laughs> because the, um, it doesn't seem like a, I, I'm, I'm tempted to say wholesome and I, I'll probably be called out for that, but it doesn't seem like a, it doesn't seem like a, a process based in love, this, this psychic pushing that I can identify as having been there my whole life. Um, it seems like very much just, uh, you know, a circumstance. Um, a circumstance that on some of its other levels, apart from how it infected my, uh, my sexual orientation, um, is not really like a not really a positive thing, not really a desirable thing. And uh, I know I'm talking, you know, beating around the bush here, but it's, um, it's really just not something for, for talking about right now. Um, and it's, there's no blame to be had. I'm not saying that I'm trying to protect someone. I just don't wish to talk about it. Um, but what I, what I do want to say is that, uh, kind of just as my own, mental self-examination attempts at growth process when I was a teenager was unsatisfactory. Uh, this too is unsatisfactory. It, it's not something that seems deterministic and it's not something that I'm willing to submit myself to be determined by either. Um, so it's, it's kind of funny that I'm coming back to this after all these years. Um, it's kind of funny on the other hand, it, it really makes sense uh, because as I'm saying, like it's not really, it was never really a resolved question. It was just a, uh, a choice. Um, but I, as early as three years ago, um, I've been aware that God has kind of been whispering to me, calling to me that, uh, that I need to be open to the expansion of my sexual orientation. Um, that doesn't mean, you know, I have to go out and make myself straight or that I'm not gay or uh, really nothing but what I just said, being open to the possibility of of my sexuality and my sexual orientation growing and broadening. And um, I am now at a point in life where I see that that is very much a fundamental root to many, many, many of my problems, uh, my psychological problems, my difficulty in relating to society in, uh, you know, sort of a normal way. Um, and I, I don't want to go into detail just for, it, that's not the point of this video. But basically, um, my sexuality is an elephant in the room. And when I say that, I don't mean my homosexuality, but I don't not mean that either. <laughs> I mean, um, I never really came to terms with the fact that I am sexual uh, and, you know, which which way I turn like that, that kind of was um, irrelevant to the fact that I never really allowed my sexuality to be an integral part of me. And um, I'm seeing that that drives, uh, drives a lot of my dysfunction and really kind of obfuscates the... Uh,
there's a there's a part of my self knowledge that uh, is forever out of my reach until this is complete. You know, um, there's there's still a part of my identity that um, that I have yet to encounter, and I don't mean study or observe, but I mean actually encounter. You know, come allowed to come up within me, be face to face with. So, um, I mean, these are kind of just my thoughts. I'm not trying to like declare something. I'm not trying to come out in a different way. Um, although, I mean, I, I, I do, I'm willing to be public about the fact that I, uh, I kind of expect, um, I don't know by what means, how quickly, how slowly. Um, but I, I do kind of expect that, uh, God is going to lead me through some experiences that are going to broaden my uh, sexual orientation or at least give me um, new chances to re-examine it or redefine it more organic and um, more like, like growth, growing into it um, instead of, you know, uh, deciding upon it or, uh, you, you know, anything that's at that point kind of mental level um so it's it's a big part of my search for wholeness and it's a big part of what i seek to gain from recovery from recovery from addiction uh sort of as a side thing i mean but um but that is that's one of the motivating factors and that's why i've been thinking about this and why i decided to make this video even though it's a separate video from the why i'm gonna do recovery video so uh thanks guys peace